A state task force to study reparations for African Americans in California held its first meeting today. This effort is the first of its kind in the United States. Ground Force Ashley Zavala takes a closer look at their goal. State leaders pointed out this first meeting falls on the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa Race Massacre, one of many horribly unjust attacks on African Americans. California is now offering an apology and wants to find a way to compensate African Americans. California's Reparations Task Force gathered for its first ever meeting Tuesday. The launch of an effort state leaders say is historic. You know, as our country reckons with our painful legacy of racial injustice, California, again, is poised to, to lead the way. The meeting kicked off the task force's two-year effort to study the lingering effects of slavery and its negative impacts on African Americans and then develop and recommend remedies. Secretary of State Shirley Weber wrote the bill that made the group possible when she was a lawmaker in the assembly. That the economic injustices, the educational injustices, the social injustices, the judicial injustices go on and on and on and that we have to call a stop and a halt. The group is made up of nine members, including eight black men and women and one Japanese American man. The group includes civil rights activists, lawyers, scholars, a San Diego City Council member, and two state lawmakers. The task force chose attorney Camila V. Moore as its chair and civil rights leader Dr. Amos Brown as vice chair. I am looking forward to ensuring that any reparations pa package that the task force develops fully comports with international law, which mandates reparations come in the form of compensation, restitution, rehabilitation, satisfaction, and guarantees of non-repetition. The group spent its first meeting introducing task force members, learning meeting rules, and listening to expert testimony and taking public comment. The group will work directly with the California Attorney General's office. How can we work together to remedy the harm and trauma that has been and continues to be inflicted on generations of our brothers and sisters. Task force meetings for now are virtual and open to the public. The next one has not yet been scheduled. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, Cron 4 News.